Well, hello there, people in the view of us. So you probably guess what we're looking at today. A Mosasaur sighting. Heck, yes, we are. We're looking at a Mosasaur sighting. Brilliant. Excellent. Eh? Yes, we are. So let's um, let's jump on over and bring on up the footage, shall we, of the Mosasaur caught on camera. <laughs> OK. All right. Yeah, here we are. Let's uh, bring it on screen. Chicka boom. Right. So something to take in before I actually hit play is what it says at the top here. It says Poseidon 7 recording. OK, so this looks like an actual HUD. We're going to be looking into where this HUD may have come from and whether Poseidon is a real thing. Right. So let's make this full screen and I'm going to hit play. So let's just make sure I've got this on the highest quality possible. Let's go 1080p. Brilliant. And let's hit play on that. See some fish. And here comes a creature emerging into shot. Now at first I thought this is a whale. And then I thought, no, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a sea crocodilian. But no, it's got flippers, not not feeties. And look at all the ridges across this back. Holy fudge. Now to me this this looks pretty darn freaking real. Now there's there's a lot of reasons why I feel this looks pretty real, but I I, I cover that off in a second. So let's let's do a replay of that, shall we? Let's uh, let's skip it back. Okay, so now this sort of camera underneath the ocean, I'd imagine would be triggered by some sort of movement, and then it would start recording. Of course, we see the fish first, and maybe it's and it's also shot by shot, so it's stills, and it looks like maybe one per second or something, and it's massive. And the actual noise that you've got in the oceans is repeated across the body of the actual fish or, or creature that we see here. I say fish, it's a reptilian, isn't it? You know, so... It, it, and look how crisp this looks. It doesn't look like it's pixelated. It doesn't look like CGI. Whoever's done this, I suppose since they've done it shot by shot, could really go to town and really make it look pretty darn impressive, couldn't they? But at the same time, that is freaking epic if somebody has faked this it's a bloody good fake and that something that i think is a little odd is you've got all this underwater structure and normally these are deep sea rig type things i mean you can see the light from the sun coming down here so this isn't too deep ocean really down here it says depth dpt i don't know whether that's depth and i don't know whether this is 155 feet 155 meters so it's hard to say how deep it actually is and it's very hard to find the original source of this video. I mean, this was uploaded by Wayne Warlock, but he's put it on for YouTube for kids. And the actual um, description gives you fudge all to go by. There's nothing there. Comments are turned off. So your guess is as good as mine on this actual footage. However, I went digging for the footage. But before I go digging for the footage, remember at the start, I said that I'm here about it saying Poseidon 7. Yeah, well, Poseidon 7 um, is an actual thing. Here we go, Poseidon Networks, right over here. You can see that it's an actual real thing on screen right now. So yeah, it looks real and they make CCTV boxes and you plug all your cameras in and away it goes, starts recording, does all that sort of shenanigans and whatnot. So I think this is real, I honestly do. In a roundabout way, I mean, the HUD looks real, the actual image looks real, everything that I can find says real, but what do you guys think? In the view of us, hit on up that poll. Vote and say whether you feel it's real, or is it fake? I guess. Right, well, I'll give you a couple of seconds to go and do that. Hit on up your votes and see if you think it is real, or whether you think it is fake. And um, I'm going to be jumping over onto the dinotracker.com. Yes, I found a website called dinotracker.com, and it's got the Mosasaur sighting on here. But this is like a tracker for people to upload their own sightings of dinosaurs inside of the world. So here we go. Let's have a look at this one. A Petrarad... I don't even know what that sort of dinosaur is. Here we go. <laughs> Let's hit play on this one. So hey, what's go. up, everybody? Out here in Nashville, Tennessee at Bicentennial Park. Beautiful sunny day. And... Right, yeah. yeah that, that, that's, that's definitely not real, is it? But it's still quite well done. So this is for people to upload their own dinosaur sightings, whether they feel that they're real or fake or whatever. And this actual sighting that I just put up the video footage from is just here. 
Now it's also got the coordinates there, I can hit play, you can have it on in the background. But it says here, the cameras aboard the deep sea survey prospecting platform caught the moment a Mosasaur collided with the superstructure before venturing into deeper waters. So I've tried looking up this deep sea survey pla prospecting platform on Google, and I've tried it even with these coordinates, and nothing actually comes back. So here you go, here's the coordinates. It's right out in the Gulf of Mexico, right there. And when I zoom all the way in, I can't see anything. But you know, Google's not gonna send their Google Google vans over there and taking pictures, are they? So there could be something there. There could be that deep sea structure. The thing is, is these Mosasaurs, if they were real, if they were real and not fake, and they were swimming about in these oceans, they're reptilians, aren't they? So they're going to have to maybe come up for air every now and again, like a, a, a sea crocodile or even maybe a sea turtle. I mean, sea turtles, you, you, they don't deep dive too deep. They, they come up for air, but they don't have to come up for air often. It's like sperm whales. They deep dive and they only have to come up every so often for air. It's very rare that you'll see a deep sea sperm whale on the surface of the oceans. These things, if they've got the lung capacity, they could stay submerged for that long and that deep that we just don't see them. That said though, if they are reptilians, okay, and they're gonna be breeding and stuff, you'd think that they'd have to come up on the surface to lay eggs, wouldn't you? And you'd think there'd be a lot more sightings, maybe around these sort of coastal areas of the Pacific Ocean, or maybe even New Zealand, perhaps, down there, you know, where it's slightly warmer in places. But then again, Honolulu and Hawaii, perhaps, even laying eggs there. I mean, it's a freaking volcanic island, isn't it? It's with the Gulf of California, even. Or even these little islands, whatever the fudge they are. Okay, see more. Well, hopefully they see more monsters over there. That'd be freaking nice, wouldn't it? But yeah, you'd think there'd be a lot of sightings. So I looked up sightings, and you know what? There's been 11 sightings, 11 sightings of Mosasaurs on the coast of New Zealand alone in the last, like, 10 years. So that's nearly one a year, which is freaking mental when you look into this stuff. There's loads of different sightings by people that are quite reputable as well. So yeah, it's... It's an interesting thing. So are Mosasaurs still alive today in our oceans? All right, anyhow, I'm going to be um, hitting up the end of the poll. So let me just jump over to my stream quickly. Let's just end this. Right out, and we'll see what the results are. Okay, I think the fakes have got it. There is a maybe there, though. Let's just see what comes up. Okay, unsure, 46%. Okay, cool. Fake, 30 and real, yeah, 23%. I'm in the unsure camp as well myself. It looks bloody convincing. Whoever done this, freaking mind-blowing. CGI, if, if that's CGI, or even if they've drawn it in or some, I, I don't know how they've done it, but they've almost matched it pixel to pixel perfect with the actual video footage. It's really, really well done, you know? Okay, so here we go, let's have a look, let's look see who wants people saying inside of the live chat. Robert Malin, Accra. It's like you start thinking that dinosaurs are Alive, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is this even a question? Yes, it is stuff. Yes, yeah. I, I would love to. I love it if they found a real life living dinosaur. Well, they have. They found living fossils. They found xylocamps, which are these giant prehistoric fishes underneath the oceans. And in fact, let me see if I can find some footage of a xylocamp quickly. Xylocamp, there it is. Xylocamp fish. Uh, but yeah, there's a xylocamp fish right there. That's a living freaking fossil of a fish. Freaking mentals. And they found a whole load of these. Until like, what, 20, 20 200 millennium, we, all we had was fossils of the dang thing. So yes, I, I kind of think it's, it's worth asking the question, are dinosaurs or could a dinosaur have survived? Or even a swathe of them, you know? So your opinion is a dinosaur still alive? Yes, yes, that, that's, that's pretty much where I'm going with this. I would love to hope that dinosaurs are still alive or, or something, something big in our oceans, definitely, is what I would like to think. I mean, we've explored more of space than we have of our oceans, really, you know? We've started putting stuff on the freaking Mars and stuff. We probably know more about Mars than the deepest parts of our ocean. I mean, the ocean is largely unexplored. Exactly, Kev B1, exactly. That's the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, we, whichever ocean, doesn't really matter. This is a great website. It really is. It is a cool website. You can have hours of fun on that freaking dino tracker. Let's just hit up another one just for freaking laugh, shall we? Okay, what's this sighting over here? Is that another Mosasaur? It is another Mosasaur sighting. I don't think I've seen this one. Let's have a look at this Mosasaur sighting. Oh, big 
freaking shadow. Did you see that? No way. That's got to be fake. But the reaction's good. I don't think it'd be in that shallow. That is really super freaking shallow. No, just no. Don't think so. Not Well, it has to come up for air, so who knows? Right, let's try another one that's not a Mosasaur, shall we? Let's try this one. Oh, there's another Mosasaur, actually. There's another Mosasaur. But whales, whales, orca, orca. Not an orca. Not an orca right there. And that's pretty good use of the bubbly type stuff. That's pretty that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know whether you can actually pick that up on, on screen. I don't think I can make it any bigger either. But yeah, that's pretty nice. So some of them are just pictures. Oh no! I've come out of Dino Tracker. Let's go back into. It's actually made by Jurassic World. <laughs> I think they use this website to sort of help promote their latest Jurassic Park game on 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 you know platforms and stuff. Let's, uh, let's just try one of these red ones. Let's try that one. What's the oh a stegosaur? No. Okay, well that, that's that's a bit blurry. Um, it's nicely animated yet again though, isn't it? It's not too bad. Huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, over in Cambodia, there's actually a structure there called Angkor Wat. There's actually a carving of a stegosaur on the actual structure in Cambodia. Let me um, let me see if I can bring that up quickly. Stegosaur um, carving Angkor Wat. Okay, let, let's see if it just manages to work out. There we go. Brilliant. Awesome. So yeah, an anchor what? There's, there's these animals carved there. So they've carved themselves a little Buddha. Well, it's not quite an animal. And it's sort of like, I don't know what that freaking should be, but it's got a little horn there or something. And then look, freaking stegosaur. There's a freaking stegosaur carved there. How the heck would they have known what a stegosaur looked like unless they actually saw them? So maybe people did actually frequent this earth with creatures said to be extinct, you know? There's loads of stuff like this on the Tinterwebs. I love the Tinterwebs. Where would we be without the Tinterwebs? Anyway, thank you very much, people, for casting your votes. I think, though, that that footage has been deemed as being a maybe or fake. It's, it's possible of being real, or there's only 23%. So, yeah, there is that, to be fair. And there's a lot of writing about Mosasaurs here. And like I was saying, because they are reptilian, they're probably going to have to come aboard land to lay eggs. I mean, we see you know, sea turtles laying eggs. We see freaking saltwater crocodiles laying eggs, the Galapagos um, iguanas laying eggs. So this thing's got to lay eggs somewhere. Where? Where would it lay them? And when it did lay them, that's a big freaking egg to hide, isn't it, at the end of the day? So I think if there were these creatures swimming about, we would have come across at least its egg. Because the gestation period of an egg, of a creature that size, is going to be pretty large. And I know that they bury them in sand and stuff, but that's a bloody big egg for the tide to come in and out, in and out, without being disturbed and out being discovered by a human being. Because there's just too many human beings on the planet right now. We would have come across this thing. And plus, where it's moving all the sand, you'd see tracks of it coming up on the beach, or you'd actually see this thing beached. I mean, even if you'd done it at night, there's enough people out there now that are freaking nocturnal that would see this dang thing. So, you know what? I have to say, as much as I want it to be real, the possibility, the actual probability, the probability of it being real is about as probable as, I don't know, a rocking horse laying a freaking turd. You know, it's probably never going to happen. It's, it's so, I don't, I, I hate to say it, but I think this might be fake, which is a real shame, which is a real shame because I, I want it to be real. I want it to be blinking real. I really do. So there we are, people. Who else we got inside of here? Don't even care if these are CGI. They're really fun. Custard Horror, I, I totally agree. That's a cool little website. If you haven't checked out the Jurassic World tracker thing, I'll put it in the video description. It's not in there at the moment. I only put a link to the actual original footage. But I put that dino tracker inside of the video description so people can have a bit of fun with it. It's great. Yeah, and if you've spotted a dinosaur in your backyard, be sure to post it. Heck yes, it might end up on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, that Mosasaur sighting, out of all of them, was the one that's, that got me going... This looks freaking real. It's because they use the Poseidon 7 HUD and it's got an underwater structure there so you can actually get a size of it. You can actually gain its size and it's got fish swimming in first. There's just a lot of work that went into making it feel plausible, you know, and it looked real. If it's not real, someone's really gone to town to make it look freaking real. Yeah, it, it had me half convinced. I was like, oh, I've got to bring this on my channel.
just to ask my actual viewer birds i'm glad that you're here to answer and um, hit up real or fake thank you very much someone predicted that we'll soon find creatures bigger than anything we've seen before in the sea and i think we've only covered five percent of the sea well alan dale there were these two naval officers at uh, the back end of world war ii that were going down inside one of these experimental subs because they made a lot of subs during the wars and things that they took one down anyway but it didn't have any cameras on it but it did have lots of viewports and what they saw out the window was one of those, you know, those Nessie type things, and um, the Nessie type dinosaurs. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that, that, and there were two highly decorated naval officers, and they swore blind they saw it until their last days. In fact, there's another sighting, uh, it was back in the 1960s or so, but there was a load of lads that went out on these canoes, and they got, they got stranded by this boy thing. And uh, apparently one of those plesiosaurs, the Nessie type creatures, came up and munched two of two or three of them. And one of them only survived. And until he died, just before, I think it was 1990s, he still swore blind that this thing actually hunted him and his mates down and killed his friends. You know, but then again, if you had accidentally killed your mates out at sea, <laughs> you might want to make out that it was a sea monster. So who knows? There's loads of weird tales. But with the amount of photography items that we carry on our persons these days, that the HD quality, I would like to hope that we capture something more convincing. Because whenever we do get this footage, it either looks like it's seriously CGI'd or it's seriously pixelated. It's one or the other. It's never any clear footage, is it, really? So there we are. But if I do find some clear footage, I'll be sure to have it on this website. Oh, or this channel. Heck yes. Yeah. I am the only dino in the garden. Yeah, not just in your garden, anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in your garden. Yeah, because some people live in flats. That'd be a little bit biased, wouldn't it? Yeah, so there we go. What is the link of that website, Lyle? It's even safe with those teeth. I don't know whether I can put it in my live chat, but it's just dinotracker.com. Dinotracker.com. Yeah, let me, um, let me bring it back up on the screen for you one second. Here you go. So yeah, it's just Dino Tracker. Dino Tracker. And then you put .com on the end, just like that. If, I don't know if you can see that because my logo is over the top of it, but it's just dinotracker.com. It's, it's that simple. Yeah, pretty darn freaking sweet. Oh, you can also hashtag them. Hashtag Dino Tracker on um, the Twitterverse. And they have got a Twitter channel as well. You've got the follow over here. Let's go over, let's, let's give them a follow. I'm already following them. Let's hit that bell. Boom, done. And yeah, you can actually register all your dinosaur sightings over here on the Twitterverse, which is pretty darn cool. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, this could be why I didn't see the Mosasaur. It's, it's a fairly recent one, 10th of July, people. So uh, not too bad. Oh, that's a cool little dino. I want one of them as a pet too. You, you know, that, that's quite good because you can actually see its shadow on the actual cage or whatever it's being kept in. That's actually a really well edited one too because the camera's actually moving quite a lot and they've got the, the actual model moving in the same way. That's very nicely done. That's quite a convincing dino, isn't it? And when it puts its head up, even the light source on the top of its head actually tracks to the... That, that's really well done. Some of these are like on par with freaking Universal Bloody Studios. If that's fake, that's freaking good, isn't it? God, if I saw that one, that could have made it onto my channel today, people. I don't know if we can make it much bigger than that, can we? No, it's just a GIF. Oh, fudging heck. If that was actual footage, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah, that's a proper Jurassic Park moment, isn't it? Yeah. da na 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 I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Brilliant. Every time you watch Jurassic Park now, and it comes on with that freaking triumphant music, you're gonna, just gonna have me doing this. I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, that, that's gonna happen in your head. That's gonna happen up there in your noggin, I guess. Go watch the latest Jurassic Park film, <laughs> see if it happens. Oh, dear, what do I do to my freaking viewers? Oh, look at this. Two dinosaurs having a little freaking fight. Yeah, my money is on the one standing up. Okay, cool. You're not a dinosaur, don't even pretend to be a dinosaur. You're not a dinosaur. Maybe you might be. Okay, let's, let's scroll down. Look at the size of those dino footprints. Okay, I could be on this all freaking day, people. I need to end off. I've already done the real or fake stuff on the uh, the Mosasaur. And what, 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 did, what, did we, what did we decide? We decided that it was a maybe, but it's a probable fake. And the reality of it being real is far from real. That's what we decided. You guys are awesome. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again sometime soon with one of these videos. Right, people, well, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.